I really should split up Gnarled Root. Um, alright, hello everyone and welcome back to, uh, Let's Play Oracle of Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. Uh, my name's Bastis, and I'm still your host, so let's get started. In the last episode, we made our way through deeper into Snake's Remains and fought Facade, who was a complete and utter joke. In this episode, we're going to... progress through Snake's Remains and hopefully fight a boss. Moblins. Uh, this way. Ow! Fucking hate those things. Alright, we went ahead right first, because there's a chest in here. Raiders. I need to get one bright one with that. Where did they come from? Where did the bottom of the barrel did these guys come from? Huh? Okay, I see. I'll go this way. Oh! Right, this room. Ah, my... That's an entertaining room. And we get the boss key! Woohoo! Okay. Um... Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, I see. Okay, so we can't do that. That's just there to deck us over, I guess. Actually, it's a hint. Actually, that is important in a later dungeon. Knowing how those things work. Um, but not so much this one. Sorry, I accidentally bumped out of the game with my mouse. Holds voice. That's something I hate. Again. Bomba wall. Oh, uh, really? Let's leave that be. I don't think we have to worry about Cole's voice in here, though. Okay. Now you're just near the deck. Okay, I get it now. I um, underestimated the dungeon's puzzle. Now we have to go this way. Sorry, I think I just ate my mic again. Yes, this should take us down. Huzzah! Okay, what do you have to say? Thank you for the hint. Let's, uh... Yeah, that was a hint for the boss. And it might... And it might tell some of you who the boss is. Um, for those of you who it doesn't, I'm not gonna spoil it, even though I'm going in there, like, next. <laughs> Get out of here, traitor. Oh, thank you. Head in. First things first, we're gonna need bombs. And basically, the, our power bracelet. But yeah, meet King the Dongo. Right. It's a little bit trickier than I remember. Oh, this still works. You can still feed them bombs, although now you have to... Oh. Oh! Um, actually throw them into his mouth and then pick him up while he's fat. So yeah, they had a few steps to King Dodongo this time. Oh, damn it. And my reaction is... My reactions are terrible right now. Mm. This is 
This is actually kind of embarrassing. Anytime you'd like to stop that. Look, you. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we damage it. Oh. I'm doing it dismally. Okay, this is better. <sighs> oh, what? How did I... Loving that charge, though, isn't it? Ah! Oh, hold on. We're just gonna rewind a bit so I'm not a frickin' dead. Stop that. Okay. You did not see me die. You might see me die again. This is pathetic. Ah, come here, you. I don't know if it's possible for him to regain, um... To swallow the bomb while he's in your oh shit. He's not dead yet. That takes more hits than I remember. I do like that they made this fight a bit more complex because it's honestly pretty simple. In the every other game you fight him. Let's uh, see if I can get some bombs, though. Yes, fortunately, the game is kind enough to give you respawning bomb flowers. Which, come to think of it, Ocarina of Time was as well. Oh my. That's excellent. Let's go. And we have our third uh, essence of nature the gift of time. Yay! My shoulder hurts, I don't know why. <sighs> Alright, so, he's told us where to go. Jeez, Holodrum is big. Forgotten. Um, but I'm going to save the game here. Oh, yeah. And in the next episode, we will continue on our journey through Holodrum. Um, in the meantime, thank you everybody so much for watching. This has been Basilisk, and I will see you all then. Thank you, and good night, folks.